Oh hi, Sawman here, and I'm back with another video. Now, Margate here, let's be honest, he's a bit of a bruh. He can be quite tough if you're new to these sort of games. And uh, for me, he was very tough. Until I um, killed him without doing any real damage. And you're probably looking at this going, how have you managed to do this? Well, let me show you. It's all because of this little guy here, my spirit summon. Now, what this little fella is going to do is when he attacks the boss, he has a chance to put a damage over time effect on Mr. Margit here. And once that does apply, you just need to sit back and not get hit. You don't even have to go in and attack. You can just stay back and watch him as he slowly dies. How lovely is that? Now, I know this is cheesy and not everyone wants to do this, but hey, I don't want to spend 5,000 for some stupid rune so um yeah sue me now i know i said you don't need to attack um i am attacking because i just want this guy dead he's pissed me off for too long if i'm being completely honest and once you see this red haze over the top of him that means the dot's been applied and he's going to die all you gotta do is stay alive but you're probably wondering well how do you even get this summon spirit well hold on and let me show you where you can find him so from the start and spawn, you just want to head east into the Dragon Burnt Ruins. And once you get there, you're looking for like a little dungeon entrance thing. I'll show you what I mean. It's advisable to use your steed to try and find the entrance. All you have to do is run into the ruins and just leap around a bit. You should find this little doorway leading underground. I did cock up a little bit and couldn't quite get in. But once you're there, run through and you'll be faced with a room full of rats. Now, you do have to kill these before you can progress, but trust me, you shouldn't struggle. If a shitter like me can kill him, I'm pretty sure you'll be okay. Once you kill them, go through the door, open the treasure chest, and it will teleport you to a whole new environment. You're spawned in some sort of miner shack, and you just need to travel down the little hill until you get to the grace point. I just snuck past these guys. I don't really want any trouble. I mean, I saw the blood splatters on the floor and kind of got scared, so I just went on my own way without even interacting. Um, you'll come into this like little another cave I guess and it's well lit and you just need to run through here don't worry you won't die or anything you can jump down the ladder you won't take any full damage and then you can activate this grace point once you've done that that's where the fun begins you've got to just run outside and grab the spirit summon once you get outside you're going to want to mount up again this is going to be a grab and dash like I usually do <laughs> it's pretty much my specialty at this point so just run down the hill, stick to the left hand side, and you should start to see like a little blue beacon in the distance. There we go. And all you do is run up, grab that, you've got it. Jobs are good in, run away, and there's another grace point. You can teleport back home to safety. In the event that you've already been to this region, you can just fast travel. It's the Celia Understair. So I hope this helps you on your Elden Ring journey. It definitely helped me loads and relieved a lot of the pressure of me feeling like a complete shitter. I still am a complete shitter, but now I'm a complete shitter who's killed Margit, so suck on that. But anyway, if you want more of this sort of stuff, uh, let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.